I did play this a little bit with friends the other night, so I'm... Uh, yeah, I've been... I played this a little bit with friends the other night and all that jazz, so I... Know roughly exactly, or know roughly what's going on. Okay, bye-bye. Hammer heavy. Don't forget about your teammates. No. I am going to acquire, I'm going to get quests done in this for as long as my vigor holds out and then maybe switch over to something else. Collect 100 gem apples. Five more gem apples. I have learned to play Hammerlord. Also, oh, I have to wait two more hours? What do you mean I can't use Kirby? What do you mean I can't, I can't use D to D? Oh, oh, that's two. Whoops. All right, whatever. Quest, questy boys. I may have bought a sticker. Oops. Okay, this works out. Hold on. We saw some. Sauced. Look at me. I am the team now. Yeah, more rewards. Play a different quest. Okay, thanks for the support items. This caught this ordeal costs an apple. I mean, sure. And I mean Hmm, that might be better if I'm playing with friends, actually. Okay, let's actually hold off on, the, on doing that. I am the team. I am the whole team. I am 39% the team. That's the whole team. Hello, Bla Blazing Bronze. You're, I swear your name is like a tongue twister. Hello! Did you just book this man? Okay, cool. You do, you did it. So now I can do this. I missed. That's a swing. Come on, swing it. Okay, too close. Okay. Okay. 
Please use tie beam a little bit faster. Here it comes. Perfect. Sauce up. How dare you use the third dimension? Lol. You should probably look behind you. Oh, he's he's doing so he's doing something bad. Eh. It, that it has. Oh gosh. Please time beam him harder. Oh, that was perfectly timed. Okay. Check it out. I am amazing at this game. Don't put the amazing air quotes. Aw, bronze. Oh no, I'm bad. Oh! Clear this quest after reaching level 7. Oops! They really want me to use more gem apples. Oh, I should do that. Can I do that now? Oh, I have to wait a few more, a little while longer. Haha, <laughs> but I did ring it. I have a gift. It's the 50 cent one. Watch. It's the, it's the, it's the cheapo one. This is the cheapo one. Never mind. Excuse me, but this is not this is not letting me buy more ha better hammers. This is not letting me buy better gear. Excuse me, sir. So, so, excuse me. That's not that's not a friend. That's not a friend. Coo coo. I should definitely get better team members in here because I did call them, didn't I? Oh, well, quest time. The time you have to wait in stamina isn't all that bad, actually. I mean, yeah, you know, free, freemium, free to start. Oh, gosh, that costs apples to fight him. Everything costs apples to fight. Oh, no. Whatever, I am giving these for a reason. I don't have enough for that. So much vigor. Well, I do feel like if I level, if I level up, yeah, if I do level up, uh, if I level, if I do level up, I will have enough to do that. So let's see. Get a gold on this. Okay, these guys have been leveling up with me, but...
Let's work with people who actually have gear. Sorry. Oh no, it's fine. I'm like I said. Like I said before, I think I said it to be too hard to Dark Void. I don't expect everybody to come to every single stream or watch every single one of my videos. I don't. I understand life exists. I missed the timing. Let me over. <laughs> I'm just gonna sauce him. Uh -huh. Senpai, don't notice me. Fine, I'll just hit it a couple times. Well, at least I got the. At least I got that rank. That's all. That's uh, kind of a bo boon. Oh. Uh, to the village, I guess. Let's see if I can... Okay, let me try a random one, just so I can level up. Let's see if I can play with randoms. Well, that's the plan. I'm going party. Connecting to the online plaza. Find a match. Sure. Oh. Thank you. Thank you for the host, Waluigi girl. Eh. You know what? Hold on. Yeah, whatever. We'll be fine. I mean, if that's something set in stone by your uh, parent figures, then, you know, that's fine. Okay, I'm getting like, I'm getting tossed up with the uh, other hammer. Dang it. Sauce up. Jummy brother, sauce up. I just got DC, didn't I? Heck yeah, Nintendo Online. Let's go. Everybody's downloading their SNES. Just just give me the beetle. All right, boss is halfway d- uh, uh, Okay. Oh, I lost the vigor for that too. Do you, do you see that? <laughs> hey, thanks for, the, thanks for the- Thanks for the bits. Tanks, by the way. So long and tanks for all the tanks.
Okay. Let's try again. Let's try again. Oh, God. Hold. Hold the line. Boom! I'm going to walk away now. And then he's not going to hit me with this rock. Because I'm going to hit him with that rock. Boop! Oh, I missed the timing. Ha ha ha. But what if I just burned him? I hate that we did the same thing. That's mine. Ah. Uh. There we go, he figured it out. Perfect. Extraordinary. I... Ha 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 Aw, that was my move. There, hammer boys. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Why you do this to me? Why would you do this to me? You you madman. Psalms. Psalms under Maybe under it's snails. The way you're dressed. You are off on a tangent. Banjo's <laughs> <sighs> fun. Yeah, people are already finding a lot of cheese with him, aka th they didn't cover the fact his down his down throw pummel or uh, grounds. Down throw sucks. Oh yeah, well maybe you suck. Got him. You can literally mash out of it immediately. It's only useful as a mix for you mixing up whether they mash out or whether they don't. And even then, if you instantly mash out, the only thing you can really get out of it is an up air, which I haven't found any way to get anything off of. Yeah. Well, well, Unless you're like getting grabbed at like one thirty, in which case you deserve to die. Oh hey, wait, this is Blocky from Kirby Three out of nowhere. Are you playing the restart thing? Yeah. I like it. Banjo und Kazooie. Man. This man. This man's play. This man's plays in German. <laughs> it's nice. The announcer's better. Oh, I got hit with the rock and I was about to sauce him. Alright. Well, thanks for stopping by, Rafa. Wait, you can pogo with the sword? That is semi necessary information. <laughs> oh, he big. Hey, far re up to sub, and he just says nut. Oh, I'm in danger. 
I'm no longer in danger. And time to sauce the dude. Yeah, Mage is pretty OP in this game. It literally, ju it literally just says, "Hey, Zawaldo." Is that what the Mage does in that game? Yeah, it's charge attack. Like you have to hit with it several times, but the Mage's charge attack uh, builds up a, a deep a debuff effectively, and when it hits full rank of the debuff, it stops the enemy dead and it just leaves it open to it to all attacks. So, the mage is like, partial, like, the healer, you know, it's a healer, whatever. Oh, freeze the time clock too, nice. The mage is like, range damage, but also support. Sword is the effective tank. And Hammer is just big fuck off DPS. No, I have not played any of those actually. I know they exist, but I never played them. This is the first This is the first time I'm playing uh this series. Game really wants really wants me to buy weapons for these guys, don't they? Ah, uh, fine. I'll go spend my money. I didn't even read that message about buying the gem apple. I like how it says new, but I haven't had access to that stuff at all. Banjo also feels like the first DLC character they've added that isn't going to make people angry. Because he's not really based around gimmicks. He's just kind I mean, Grenade Egg is really good, but... It is. It's not like Arsene level. Or RNG level. I am laughing at the fact they gave him a fully invincible Bowser F smash, though. That's basically what um, the side B is. Oh. I mean, I don't know if you watched the after the aftermath of that of the thing, or like Sakurai's deal. Basically, I did. okay. So, okay, so you do know that he's not fully invincible. Just tethers are like the only thing that can really break that ahead of time. Tethers and command grabs. Huh. <sighs> Yes, I just spent 30 gem apples on a sticker. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my real phone. I'm just like, yeah, you can grab it, but it does 27% fresh. 27. 0.7%. That's so much. That's so much. I know, I know, just shielded forehead, but... No, it's still impressive, but still. There, that's a nice and rounded looking party. Hurry! 
find one thing they complain about Kazooie and Banjo in this game is that they don't have the one Kazooie sound effect where you do the, where she goes <laughs> when she's like attacking in the air. Oh, she doesn't have the rat attack. She doesn't have the sound effect for it. Where are you going, sir? Sir, why are you why are you running? That's one of the two most memorable sound effects in BK for me. Is just that one just Well, it is. Bookner, a uh, Bookner, you Bookner, you did not collect. Uh, let me kiss you. Uh-oh, he teleports. I should say though that like no surprise cuz this cuz this is uh Sakurai's baby, so so to say, but like, a lot of, you can basically a lot of the dodging you can do in uh, Smash is the same stuff you can do here in this game. I was careless. Anyway, Banjo is probably somewhere in the top 30 range of characters. Maybe top 20 if I want to push it. Done. Let's say he seems like his his kid is pretty good, and it's you know Mario in that in the Mario in that it's kind of basic down the middle of the road, minus a gimmick or two. <laughs> Just so sailing. Are you gonna are you gonna run sands and bracket? Me gunner sucks. It does suck. <laughs> Although I did kick Meech's ass with him a couple times yesterday. God, hello, Blaze can dude. <laughs> what? Don't tell Odin that you, don't tell Odin that you're that that we're gonna that we're gonna run uh, sands and bracket. Is Odin what? like super against sands? Yeah, I have no idea. Hammer. Hammer. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait. Let me guess. Odin is like a me gunner main, isn't he? Ah, that's right. He does mean rad gravity. I forgot. All right, beast helmet. Get. I'm about to go sicko mode. Rad Grav is a gunner. That makes sense that Rad Gravity is a gunner. There, I bought your t I bought 10 pieces of gear. Is that enough? Also, my max level went up, so now I can be more than level 10 in anything. Can I ring this yet? No, another 21 minutes. So. Ah, this Treasure Trove Cove remix! I love it so much! Hello, Mommy John, thank you for resubbing. 18 months. Alright, we gotta unlock it. It's 10 vigor to fight Nightmare. Holy cow. That's kind of dope that, like, I don't know why, but that's just really dope to me that Nightmare is available in this. Ooh, Killer Blade. I want to fight it. Dang it. Match full. Game said match full. I'll fight this.
you know, at some point, at some point, I'll get, at some point, I'll run out of stamina in this and then I can move on to something else besides this game alone. Fight me, you coward. I mean, that's Smile. kind of, the, I mean, that's half the plan today is to play whatever has released in the last 24 hours on Nintendo Switch. This is one of those games. And Banjo is the other, is the other part. And so is the SNES library. Oh yeah, that's up today, isn't it? It's out, it was out as of like half an hour ago. Oh god, the connection. Boop! <laughs> Jump over me, you won't. Boop! Oh, 7200. Oh! Oh, hello. I got a star chest. I don't know what this is. That's my first time seeing Star Chest. Oh, that's what it was. You thought San you thought Sans Undertale was the last DLC fighter. That explains why you had a mini heart attack. Oh, because everyone was like, Sans is in Smash! Everyone's like, what? Sauce. Hold on, I gotta give him some more sauce. Sauce! <laughs> okay, almost defeated, so I can... There we go. But yeah, I, just about everybody can say that their character is coming into Smash now because, hey, guess what? DLC Wave 2 is happening. LOL! Ah, oh, four seconds short. Damn. Yes, my my hope, my my non-zero hope for uh freaking Estelle Bright can continue to exist, even though it won't happen. Let's go trails. Oh, I was like, that's not Tales of Vesperia, and I know that name is Estelle. Hey, daydreaming up by seven. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, that's another that's another thing. And we saw it during the direct, and I'm really hype, and Farv was there when that came up. I'm really happy that what's in the star chest? Oh, it's more it's more goodies, okay. I'm really happy that uh really happy that the <coughs> I'm really happy that uh, the Trails of Mana game is is a remake of, of the original of the original Sega Densetsu three, but it's also going to be turned into a full on action RPG instead of like you know just this awkward hybrid. You mean like the FF seven remake? Yeah, actually. Like you'll be able to move freely on the battle grid. You won't have to wait to cast spells. You can jump over attacks and all this jazz. And all that jazz. Just hands. <laughs> Hammer heavy. No, I saw... I saw what they... Also, here, there you go. Yeah, I hope you're happy. I saw that, the footage of it. It's like, okay, no, that, that kind of reaffirms my decision to actually get tri uh, Trials of Mana now. Because apparently... Hold on, I have to unplug the power source to do this. Hit. Apparently this thing has secret of mana on it, and I didn't even know. Why wouldn't it have secret of mana? Square is being weird. There we go, plugged it back in. With one hand, even. Alright, let's go fight Nightmare. Let's go have a grand old time fighting Nightmare.
Eh. I think the fact that everybody hates Steve to an nth degree uh, just stems from the fact that Minecraft was hated for so long, and then suddenly out of nowhere, everybody was okay with Minecraft, like in the last like year or so. Like I, was, I want to say actually within the last six months, not within the last year. That's going to hurt. I somehow hit him. Oh god. Also, that was definitely the master hand, like, laugh. Come here. Oh, it's awesome. Who needs, who needs food? Good job, guys. Uh. Oh. Surprised I didn't get body during that. I mean, let's be real. Modded Minecraft. It's not surprise. It's not a surprise everybody likes modded Minecraft because literally you can do whatever with it. Oh, he ran away, coward. Anyway, I was just thrown for a loop because I figured they would do two 3D platformer characters after doing two JRPG characters, but they just didn't do that. So now I'm like, well, fuck. Now I have no idea who the hell is going to be in this game. I mean, the fact that Terry is part of the cast, going to become part of the cast, is pretty dope. I've never played Fatal Fury. I agree. But... Like, are there other Fatal Fury slash KOF characters I would have rather seen? Kind of. But Fury or Terry is the original, so, like, it's still dope. Uh-oh. My, oh, I was about to say, I got to have a first failure, but nope, barely one. <laughs> that, uh, that got a little rough. Not gonna lie. The bonus thing is, nobody died, nobody in my party died. But I don't I don't get a reward for that. Oh, rarity oh, level five. Two hit. Okay. The cave man has fled to the volcano. I, the fifth, well, the fifth DLC character, I know is what you mean, but I'm trying to, like, think about what he was hinting at, because, well, first of all, I'm oblivious, by the way, so I don't catch, I don't catch subtle things like that a lot. Was there a hint to who the last one is going to be? I don't think there was. Oh, there it is. I am a Dino King. Oh! Oh no! Rarity 8! Oh no! What the announcement of extra DLC fighters after the fighter pass really means is we can uh, regenerate hope for things like Rex and things like... Uh, Byleth, Edelgard, <laughs> Nintendo characters from Switch games are feasible as DLC characters now. Yeah, like, because, you know, because I feel, because it, it's kind of, it keeps building up, but you understand, but like, it, this is a trend that's happening, and I was like, 
he just keeps on throwing out, yeah, this third party, this third party, this third party. This is every single, minus Piranha Plant if you want to count it in any regard. It's been all third party. And because I'm assuming that the other DLC characters after the pass won't have stages attached to them that need to have their own music. It will open it up for series that already have characters in Smash to get new characters again. Because they can just add a couple songs like they did with Corrin when Corrin came out in Smash 4. <laughs> ah, Corrin. Oh. I miss Corrin. I mean, your Wii U's right there. Boot it up. Kind of like everybody misses Sheik. Sheik's fine. Oh, hi, Rick. I miss the good old days when we didn't know Fates was a train wreck and we could be hyped for corn in peace. Huh. So Rick and Koo are just on the overall map. Does that mean Kynes just chilling in the water somewhere? Yeah, I don't see it. Okay. Well, let's see if I can do one more quest here, and if I can't, I'll, uh, I'll, well, I might, I don't know if I want to do more party quests. How many locations are there? Also, yeah, this is turning, this is definitely turning into Monhun. 100% Monhun. Can't. I mean, that's what it looked like to me from the beginning. Uh, recommend level 12. Okay, I need to get some levels here. Still level 11, I'm level 10, so... Okay, so here comes the grind bit. Nah, no tracer. No tracer. I understand the hype and the want, but no tracer. Is there a want for tracer? I think if there's an Overwatch character people would want, it would probably be Diva. The other... What? Tracer Smash would be so fucking obnoxious. Are you kidding me? She doesn't even have enough moves. She blinks and... Oh. Well, that happened. <laughs> and before someone says Final Smash, it's just Pulse Bomb. See, that's the thing. If you... Set Pulse Bomb aside as your final match, which by the way, Pulse Bomb was one of the lamest ultimates in Overwatch. You're not wrong. So it would make more sense to be used as like a high committal special move. So something, anyway, something that requires a little more you, planning, like uh, I guess la our C4, there we go. First thing kid. If you're going to set aside uh, Pulse Bomb as the final smash, then it's like, alright, well you have Blink... And you have Recall. Blink is something you make her dodge, right? Yeah. And then how the hell would you code Recall in this game? Uh, probably has similar properties to, uh, some sim similar properties to that of, uh, Heal for Hero. And somehow fuck around with, uh, fuck around with Witch Time a little bit. Anyway, that's all you got. I guess you also have her skills in Heroes of the Storm, which are shoot, bash. And that's it, actually. Those are the only skills that we haven't covered already. Oh, 13 seconds short of that of that platinum. I actually thought of a somewhat okay moveset for Widowmaker a while ago. Like, back when the, oh, it's going to be an Overwatch character leak was, like, news. Yeah. I think I think you mentioned it, but, like, she would have... I think, yeah, you talked about it briefly, like, you know... Yeah, her, I talked about Elf Elf Rifle. The rifle, and the fact that, you know, uh, her, up -y, her up -y would be another tether like Joker. But that's where you stopped your conversation. <laughs> that's all you really need, really. All right. My point was that, like, other Overwatch characters, like, have the building blocks for Smash characters, but Tracer just doesn't really. Yeah, 
It would probably be better if they had one of the melees, though. Maybe. I don't know. Overwatch and Smash is a bad idea, guys. Like, I love the game. It just wouldn't work. Yeah. I mean... Uh, well, the thing with Crash and, to a lesser extent, Spyro, if that were to happen, that would have to be, like... That basically have to be pulling on Sony, and keep in mind right now, Sony don't want to play with anybody. Backing up, didn't back up in time. Sauce, ah, oh, you blocked it, you bitch. Uh oh, can I have that? Okay, I can't. Let me show you that my beef's strong. Everything about Banjo is so good, though. Like, his round start animation, where he, like, comes through the loading screen animation. Yeah. That's so good. Ow. I love this character. Banjo is a might good. Pick him, might pick him up as a secondary. We'll see. I don't even like the Banjo Kazooie games that much, but mine. Yeah, final blow. <laughs> Sauce. Well, I shouldn't say that. I think Tui actually kind of sucks as a game, but I DK One is really good. No, I, I like I, Banjo Kazooie One. Like that's the only one I've played so far, so I like that one. For obvious reasons. That's what Bolts is actually a fine game, but I know that's the forbidden forbidden relic we don't speak of. Yeah. Th no, that, no, I understand that we or excuse me. I understand we don't talk about that game because it kind of ruined a franchise, so to say. At least some people say it ruins a, a franchise. But there's several things about... It seems like a lot of the games that we talk about is just like the forbidden... The thing you do not talk about. Is there's a lot of those things is just basically... Hey, what if we did it right this time? Or if we let them take like an extra six months and make it right? Like I feel like Nuts and Bolts well, was rushed a little bit. That's just me though. Well, the issue with Nuts and Bolts isn't that the game itself is bad. It's just that it's a game attached to the Banjo-Kazooie IP that has pretty much nothing to do with Banjo-Kazooie. Like, it has the characters in it, but it's like, it doesn't play like literally any other game Banjo has ever been in. Except maybe Banjo-Pilot if you want to be, you know. The, so, what I'm hearing is basically Nuts and Bolts was going to be its own IP. It's like, wait, Banjo-Hook because we own this IP now. <laughs> Yeah, it was like, Banjo fans are not going to want to play it because it's not like a Banjo-Kazooie game. And then people who are into the vehicle building mission-based gameplay aren't going to play it because it's a Banjo-Kazooie game. So, like, who wanted this, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm glad I got the game and played it because it was fun, but... I also didn't have to pay for it because my dad works at my, worked at Microsoft at the time and he got it for free, lol. Yeah, there's some game I got a while ago and I never played it. Oh, I think it was Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 and I ended up trading it back in because I did a game test thing a long time ago. Haha, uh -huh, you missed. Why am I moving? Why move? Welcome to Hammer. We charge and we slam. Also, I think Banjo is probably the one character that's been in the most uh, crossover games with multi... Oh, that's a lie, actually. Because if you count things like Terry existing, then not... But, like, he's been in crossover games with Sonic, Mario, and Diddy Kong now, technically. I somehow hit that Cause, shot. Because he was in Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, 
on the Xbox. Yeah, sorry, I'm I'm paying attention, but I'm also you know doing Kirby mod hunt things. Everyone loves banjo. Banjo's beloved. Get that one. Get that one. Get that one. Nightman, get that one. Let's do it. Oh, just a little bit off. Excuse me. Excuse me, I just want to... Okay. Uh... What was I going to say? I want to say that... Oh, I'm going to have to level up again. The, the ride never ends. <laughs> No clue who Banjo is? You heathen! It's fine. Probably just means they're like... They didn't get into games until after the N64 era. That's pretty much all it means. Yeah, that's pretty much what it means. Banjo is definitely for... It's definitely uh, a boomer character. What about a zoomer character? Uh, Banjo is definitely not a zoomer character. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that character that hasn't been in a game... I mean, ignoring Nuts and Bolts was a game that doesn't exist as far as people are concerned, as we've already established. Hasn't been in a game since, like, 2002? I think that's when Banjo Pilot came out. And Grunchy's Re I think Grunchy's Revenge was 03, actually. Kayla, wait. Kayla has this game? Okay. Banjo was in two games on the GBA. One of them was a racing game, and one of them was a shitty game one of them was an, Revenge. One of them was an attempt to continue the legacy of the original Game Boy games, and it kind of flopped. I kind of wanted to see where it went, because like, the whole like setup... I know like story and a platformer are a little, but it was like... Grunty's plan to defeat Banjo and Kazooie is to go back in time and make it so the bear and bird never actually meet each other. Which is like, how the hell do you manage that? I never found out because I couldn't stand playing the game. Oh no, the game is hot ass. <laughs> well, that's at least kind of interesting, right? It's a bit tropey, but... So it was like every other video game. I can't believe they didn't give Banjo the pack whack as a move in this game. Unbelievable. Uh, well, it was either going to be Briegel Bash or pack whack, pretty much. Well, I figured pack whack could have worked as an as the nair because you know you use it to get a double jump, basically. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, I've actually been somehow managing to play this for an hour, so I think or almost an hour. I think I'll give it one more mission. On my own. And, uh... Well, that's his next mission. Okay, I'll go fight him. I'll do this one last mission. And then we'll see about swapping it up. Oh, this is fine. Also, holy free holy, so much stamina to spend. If you do cooperate and play this game with people, like, you get almost infinite stamina because it only takes the stamina from the person who hosts the room. Ugh. So it does a regalia thing, then? No, the person who hosts the room, not the not every person. Yeah, I know. It does a regalia thing where no one wants to host a room because they only have... Because they're the only ones who lose anything from it. Early regalia. 
I mean, uh, no, the, for friend for friends room. Excuse me. I should have said. Uh, I should have said when in a friend room. If you're playing with friends, it only takes. Uh, it only takes it from the person hosting the room if you're in a friend room. If you're not, it does take some. It does take uh, like less stuff from each player. But it takes something for every player instead of the full cost. Running. Well, this is like a terrible way to do it. It's basically if you don't know this person. I mean, I guess it's like net more if you have a group of four friends playing, but that would also involve for necessity them playing four games, which not everyone is gonna do. I guess in that case, then they would just get the stamina back anyway, and it wouldn't matter, but I don't know. It strikes me as weird. Well, it does the level up thing, too, where, like, it does the level up thing as well, where, um, excuse me, it does the level up thing as well, where, like, you level up, and then you get everything back. The one thing FGO did right, by the way. I missed. I fired and then I missed. Don't worry, I got that time. I wish that the uh, egg rifle stance was a was just not a bad move. I mean, like, the single egg shot is, like, a really good projectile, but I mean, rifle stance is just terrible. The single egg, the single egg thing is, uh, or, yeah, the single egg is just basically, it's, it's Yoshiapi if you aim down. <laughs> Lol. I mean, it's just, like, it's like Dr. Mario's pill, but on a character that isn't terrible. You don't want to play the funny doctor and yeet people? No, he sucks! Okay. Um, so that that taken care of. I'm going to stop playing this game for now. And...